God bless you, my brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus, our risen Savior. And said, we thank God for this day uh, that he has made. And said, we want to greet each one of you in the marvelous and majestic and mighty name of him who does things well. To all of our new Hopians and to all of our friends and family that shares with us uh, each time during this uh, week. And said, we're thankful uh, to you. Just want you to take a quick moment out and uh, call, text, our uh, inbox. Uh, a family member, church member, and let them know that this weekly uh, ministry here at the New Hope Church is on and that it will do them good, not only today, but in the days to come. Certainly our prayers goes out to all of our sick and shedding within our, our church family, our community, uh, uh, those who are bereaved, going through bereavement, and certainly that we are praying for you, you're in our thoughts, and certainly we want you to know that you're not in this by yourself. Let us pray, gracious and always, God our Father. Uh, we come today just as we are humbled. Uh, we come, God, uh, with uh, our heads down toward Mother Earth, but our hearts is lifted up unto thee because you are our only hope. We thank you again for this another day, another privilege of being able to talk to you. God, we want to... Uh, take advantage of you giving us permission, oh God, to call you. And God, is, since we are here, we ask that I will look on us with our eye of pity, our eye of compassion. Bless us now, oh God, and the blessing that we all stand in need of. God, we thank you now for this opportunity. Uh, you speaking to us through your word. We pray, God, that you will just bless mankind everywhere. And God, we praying now that God will just um, reveal to us what you would have us uh, to do. And God, uh, allow us to yield our will to yours. God, you are our only hope. And God, we praying now that you will just touch us from the crown of our head uh, to the shore of our feet. Bless us now. And Father, we'll bless you back. We'll tell the world what great God you are. Praying now, God, you come down to the person of the Holy Spirit. Touch our spirits the ears we can hear, our eyes we can see, our hearts that we can accept what you have to say to us on this day. We ask that you let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. You are our rock, and you are our redeemer. All right, God bless you. Got your Bibles out to Philippians chapter 4, verse number 6. And uh, we're still dealing with uh, five things I want to do better uh, in the, the new year. We're dealing with number th three. Uh, we talked about don't worry about anything. It says uh, then we dealt with pray about everything. And then uh, in that verse six, it said, tell God what you need. And so we want, <clears throat> want to deal with that. <clears throat> we want to deal with that today is that uh, since I'm, I'm on a good track, uh, I'm, 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 I'm doing something that is productive, and this year I'm uh, doing something that I can, I can change my pattern, is that uh, since I, I'm talking to God, I'm trusting God, now I want, I want to move a little bit further. I want, I want to get intimate with him. I, I'm going to tell him what I need, because we, we know that this is a very critical step and replacing our worry. This is a good step in replacing our anxiety. Uh, we're placing it with trust. And so we want to tell God, since I'm talking to God, I want to be pacific. And, and, and I, I've learned that when we trust God, uh, trust is not when you try to figure it out, but when you rely on God to do what, Pastor? To work it out. Is that is that when we, when you and I try to figure things out, you 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 and I may not see how all the pieces are are going to work together, and since we don't see, is that what it does? It, it increases our anxiety. It increases our worry, because we tend to focus is more on the situation. And so we have to uh, learn that when we tell God what we need and trust him to provide it is that you don't need to know how it's going to work. Is that we just know that it's going to be worked out right. 
And so, so, so telling God what you need is simply changing our perspective and taking the weight off self and putting it on who? The Lord. And we may want to write that down. Telling God what you need is simply changing your perspective and taking the weight off you and putting it on him. Since God already knows what we need, someone asks, why should we pray? Why should we uh, 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 tell God since he already knows that? And, 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 the, and the answer to that is that you're right. God does, not, God, God does know what we need, but according to his word in, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 8, God tells us through the words of his son Jesus, your father knows what you need before we even ask of it. But when you look at that next verse, it tells us is that, is that, is that we need to pray for our needs. And for, in, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, God commands us to pray continually. That means to pray a lot. Is that, is that, is that it don't have to be, I'm glad God does not uh, judge us about the length of our prayer, but he looks at uh, uh, how, uh, how productive, he looks at the, the, the weight of the prayer, the sincerity of the prayer is, is that is that is that learn uh, uh, you may not know all what uh, the person um, that you're praying for and, 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 and this is a good way as far as praying always is that each day we got seven days uh, a week, seven days in a week is that choose a day uh, Monday, is that I, I'm praying? I'm praying for my family. Uh, Tuesday, I'm praying for my friends. Uh, Wednesday, I'm praying for the laws. Uh, 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 Friday, I'm praying for my community. I'm praying for the for my government. Uh, 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 six, I'm praying for my church family. I'm praying for the body of Christ. I'm praying. I'm praying. And, and then you know, seven is that. Um, uh, uh, you, 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 you ought to, because uh, what I do is I, on, on, on the seven on Sundays that I'm praying for uh, the, the Spirit to be with me uh, for as on that particular Sunday is that is that is that take take time out and 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 and, and make it a habit, a practice of praying and asking God to meet the needs of of, of uh, whatever you specifically praying for. Prayer is God's way for us to receive what we need from him. And uh, the writer of Hebrews uh, uh, tells us that in the fourth chapter of uh, Hebrews uh, verse 16. He tells us the reason we don't have what we need is because we have not asked or because we are asking selfishly. And that's uh, James chapter 4 verses uh, 2 through 4. And so, so all those passages help us out. Uh, we also need to pray because we have an enemy. We have an enemy. That's in Ephesians 6 and 18. Uh, who is the devil? And he wants to do what? He wants to rob us of the good thing that God wants to give us. Huh? He wants to rob us. And so we need to pray uh, to God that God would give us the strength to stand I affirm against the devil tricks, against the wiles of the devil. And so when we pray with thanksgiving, God chases our, our chases away our worry and fills our hearts and mind uh, with peace. So I, I, want, I, want us, I want us to take advantage of uh, the opportunity of uh, us um, praying to God that he would meet our needs. Uh, he want to meet our physical needs. That's how in Matthew chapter 6, verse 31 and 32, is that, is that we're praying that he will meet our physical need. Uh, we pray that he will give us rest. That's Matthew uh, chapter 11, verse 29 through 30. Uh, and so we're we, 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 we praying for that. Uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 8 through 11. And he gives us a rest. Uh, we pray. These are the needs that we need. We need, we need direction. Pray that God would give us direction, provide direction. And that's in Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. That's Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. 
Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. I'm just giving you some things that we uh, stand in need of. Yeah, yeah, that we need to ask God to provide for us. We need, we need uh, physical need. We need, uh, we need to read uh, Matthew 6, 31 and 32. Psalms 145, uh, verse 15 and 16. Luke 12 and 24. Uh, read, read it. Read it when you get a chance. We, we need to pray that he give us rest. We, it ain't nothing like having rest, and that's only in Jesus. It gives us direction. We need to pray that he gives us grace. Uh, we, we need it through uh, our uh, uh, situation. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. God's grace, his undeserving favor is what allows us to forgive someone who wrongs us. Uh, yeah, is that we need to, we need to have, have grace uh, to be able to forgive ourselves. God's grace cannot be earned. It's a freely gift. So we, we need him to uh, meet the needs of us uh, attaining his grace. Uh, we need to pray that he would uh, show us how to escape temptation. We need that. That's in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Yeah, we're going to face temptation, and so we need uh, uh, him to help us. We need him to help us. Uh, uh, he, uh, we need to pray that he will uh, help us when we are hurting. We're going to have some hurting uh, situation. That's in Psalms uh, 34, verse 17 through 20. That's Psalms 34, uh, verse 17 to 20. And Psalms 46 and 1. Yeah, life is going to get hard. And we're going to have some hurtful uh, 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 situations. So we need God to provide, to help us. Uh, we, we need him to save us. Yeah, we, we, we need him. God provides a way for us to be uh, in relationship with him. That's in John 14 and 6. Romans 10 and 9. Yeah, yeah, we need we need saving. We, we, we're saved, but yet we are in a we're still in a constant process of being saved. Okay, so we need Him to give us peace. Uh, we need we need in a in, in any given situation we need the ability that whatever we're going through is that we can have a have peace, uh, peace of mind, because uh, he, he guards uh, guards our hearts and mind. That leads us into a path of righteousness. Read uh, our Philippians 4 and 7, Romans 5 and 1, uh, Philippians 1 and 6, Psalms 107, verse 9. And we need him to point us to the truth. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, lies and lies uh, is, 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 is all present, and sometimes we find ourselves committing these lies. And so, so, so we need him to help us the truth. Um, and so the Bible is where we turn to know what's true and what is not. And that's in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Uh, Psalms 119, uh, verse 105. Yeah, so, so God said we, he promised to meet our needs. No matter what trials and what com our test comes our way, we can know that God already provide for us both spiritually and our physical needs so we can rest assured that when we walk through tough time that God is walking what? With us. Yeah, I, I just don't want him to look beyond my faults. I want him to look at them, okay? And so so, so all of these things is, 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 is going to uh, 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 be beneficial to me, but I need to talk to God so that he can what? He can help me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the, the, these are good passages of scriptures that I want us to continue to constantly uh, uh, commit ourselves and asking God uh, to uh, change. Be persistent. Tell them what you need. Tell them what you need. Since, uh, since, 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 since the beginning of time is that uh, men has been relying on God. And so we want to... We want to uh, be pacific. We want to tell God uh, just what we need. And when, and when we find ourselves uh, doing that in this year and in the days to come, is that we'll find ourselves in a less stressful, a less uh, a state of, of anxiety because of the fact is that 
is that we trust it. We're turning our anxiety and our worry into trust. So tell them what, uh, what, what we need. Not Because not when we tell them what we need is that he will supply our wants. Huh? Are you hearing me? So if we tell them what we need, think on those things I just said, is, is that he, he promised to take care of our needs and give us, give us want. He give us what, our, what we want because we also need to pray because we know beyond a shadow of a doubt is that the devil wants to rob us of the good things that God wants to give us. And so, so we need to pray always that God will uh, uh, meet our needs. God bless you. I just wanted to deposit that in our spirit on today is, is that pray that God will uh, meet our every needs. Let us pray. Gracious God, our Father, we thank you for your word on today. Pray now that you continue to uh, allow us to look to you and to trust and to rely on you all totally. You are our help. You are our only hope. Thank you for, uh, again, oh God, that, that you promised that if we seek your kingdom first, that all these things that we have the desire, that it would be added to us. Bless us now and your sweet son, Jesus' name. We ask it all. Thank you for all things. And we ask it out in Jesus' name. Amen.